parents' daughter was born a long time ago in a country called Greece. Aristotle studied on Plato's academy. Plato is also a very important philosopher. Aristotle spent a long time learning about many different things. We liked one of his quotes about friendship and Talk about what it means. Why do you think that friends are so important? because they make me happy and protect me from somebody that's attacking me. Somebody that's maybe trying to hurt you? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Hi. Why do you think friends are so important? Because if you don't have a brother or a sister, you can meet the friend up and you can play with them. So why do you think that having a friend is so important? to play with you because they play football with you. Why do you think it's so important to have a friend? They care with you. Jackson, why do you think it's important to have a friend? Play their toy with you. They can share their toys with you. Good boy. Helen, how would you feel if you didn't have any friends? Well, you would be really lonely. You would be really lonely. Killian, how would you feel if you didn't have any friends? I'll be sad. Why? Because I don't get to play games with them. We're all friends in room four. Where you tell you all about your friends, why you need them. Kush, why is Liam a good friend? Because I love him. You love him? Why do you love him? Because he loves me all the time. And Liam, why is Kush a good friend? Because I always hug him and he always loves me. He always loves you. Does he look after you outside? Yeah. yeah. Daniel, why is Ollie such a good friend? Because he's outside. And Ollie, why is Daniel such a good friend? Logan, why is Oren such a good friend? Because he helps me. When does he help you? Whenever I'm stuck. And Oren, why is Logan a good friend? Because he, he lets me join in. And what games do you two like playing together? Zombie tag, zombie tag. Welcome to Primary 1, Room 5's Assembly, where Aristotle is going to give us his ideas on how to be excellent. This is a quote from Aristotle. It's about what makes you happy. He said, As it's not one swallow or a fine day that makes a spring, so it's not one day or a short time that makes a man blessed and happy. Now that's quite hard to understand. So, a man who studied Aristotle, a man called Will Durant, he tried to explain it with a quote of his own by making it easier for us to understand. He said, We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. And now the P1s are going to try to explain this even more simply in terms that all of our school can understand. Okay, so the first thing that we did together down in P1 was look at all of the things that the boys were good at. We had a circle time, we talked about the things that we were good at, we drew them, and then we talked about how we got good at these things. This is what they said. Um, I 
Tell Aristotle, what did you draw in your picture? You're good at what? Um, I drew a puppy. Drawing a puppy. And my granny and me, my nanny and my granddaughter. Okay. And me. Good boy. Okay, pass Aristotle on. I'm good. I am drawing and making dogs and drawing buffaloes and snakes. Very good. And I'm good at catching caterpillars. I'm good at football. I'm good at football. I'm good at football. I'm good at homework. I'm, I'm good at school. I just don't do it every day, you will not do that at it. You have to do it again and again. That's how you have to do that. You have to keep practicing every day. So what the P1s are saying really is that if you want to be excellent at something, you have to make it become a habit. So just fake it until you make it. Later on you can do it. We also made a list of some habits that we have that are good and bad. So that's what we think Aristotle means. That if you want to be excellent at something, you need to make it a habit. But how do you do that? Here's some advice from the boys. Bread is never miss a day. First thought it says, have a good morning with time. Uh, first thought it says, it gets easier. So it says, we have to put it in and take it out. First that will say is get in the action. Goodbye from Aristotle and Room 5. Good morning everyone and welcome to our final debate to find the next word philosophy goat greatest of all time. Now could I introduce the two final contenders, Joe Aristotle Biden yeah! and Donald Socrates Trump. Yeah! The, result, the results will be decided by our studio or audience voting at the end of the show. Now Aristotle, could you please tell our audience why you should get their vote? Hi everyone, Master Jim Apollo. My name is Aristotle. I'm the best philosopher about, and that's without a doubt. I classified the birds and bees, and all the fishes in the seas, and the goat, greatest of all times, deserving of your vote. Next job, Aristotle, what have you got to say about that? Socrates saga to them. Socrates is my name and talking is my game. My aim is to make people think I'm not that act like the missing link. I write nothing down but question everyone in the town. I cannot teach anybody anything because I know nothing. But if you think I'm the goat, I'll gladly take your vote and that's a vote. Yeah. 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 Nice props, boys, better than the ones you've been getting for dinners. Now could you each tell our, our audience your five best chicken nuggets of wisdom before we have our final vote? Lies are the greatest murder. They kill the tribe. Change in all things are sweet. 
Socrates. Now we're ready for our final vote. All those in favour of Socrates, hands up. And the winner and greatest of all time is our star. Yeah! Okay. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Aristotle was a great philosopher. He was taught by Plato. Aristotle believed that happiness consists in the course of a lifetime. Help, knowledge, and friends lead to the enrichment of human life. How are Aristotle's teachings relevant to the modern world? Take the lockdown for example. We, we learn to appreciate what we are doing mother and why. Learning. Empathy. Kindness. Friendship. Aristotle believed we could only be happy by virtue. The material guides when money COVID-19 forced us to stay home. We worked from home. We drew some rainbows. We spread some happiness. You don't waste your time. Here's why. Because I'm happy. We got for courage. We spent some time with our family. We had fun on Zoom. We went for a daily walk. We helped those in need.
just like the philosophy classes we have in Holy Cross Boys today. He said some things that are now well known. If we put a great effort into all our interests, we would end up being great.
Instead of saying I give up, say I'll keep trying. Instead of saying I will never be a smart, say this make take some pain and apple. Instead of saying I will never get this way with a little help, I can get this. Instead of saying I never can do be finished. Instead of saying I made a mistake, say mistakes help me improve. Instead of saying it's not good enough, say is this feeling or this wrong? Aristotle is one of the most important philosophers and thinkers in history. Today most people do not know who Aristotle was or why he's important. Having studied Aristotle, we think what makes him important is that he believed that you should be good for your own sake and not the sake of anyone else. Aristotle was a famous philosopher born in the year 384 BC. His dad was a doctor to a king, so he watched his dad do his work. This is why he loved science so much. His favourite thing to study was anatomy. He loved nature too. He was a very smart man and when he was just 17 years old, he went to an academy. Not just old, not just any old academy, Plato's Academy. Plato's Academy wasn't as good like we know it today. What was different? Oh, many things, but they had class discussions on lots of questions and everyone could speak to even debate the possible answer. Plato and lots of other philosophers for the next six months. Did you know that Nicholas gave him was the main? He studied and taught that school for 20 years. Wow, that's no time. He, tra he traveled across Greece and he loved to people much. What a losing father. No, 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 it was for science. He studied them, he watched them, and took notes. He was the first philosopher he knew for Venus. Hi, I'm Regina. My favorite book of his is Happiness. Bears up on ourselves, which we can do with our own happiness. Welcome to P5 Room 12's presentation on Lord Stuttle. Occupation of Rafter and Salamis, born 384 BC in Siberia, Greece, died 422 BC in European Greece. That there is no question of Plato and teacher of Alexander the Great. Aristotle was born in northern Greece in the city of Stagria around the year 384 BC. As a youth, Aristotle likely had tours who taught him about all sorts of subjects. He learned to read and write Greek. He also learned about Greek, the Greek gods, philosophy and when Aristotle turned 17, he travelled to Athens to join Plato's Academy. There he learned about philosophy and logical thinking from Plato. He stayed at the Academy for nearly 20 years, as first as a student and later as a teacher. What was that economy like? Plato's Academy was not a school or college like we have today. They didn't have classes on specific subjects taught by teachers. What they did was challenge each other with questions on the beat. One method of doing this was to have dialogues or conversations where one person would ask a question and the other person would attempt to answer it. They would then continue to discuss the question in, de in a debate format, asking new questions.
questions as they came up in the debate. Aristotle travels. After leaving the academy in 347 BC, Aristotle traveled throughout Greece and Turkey. He got married and wrote several works and new ideas. Aristotle had new ideas on the on how the world should be studied. He liked to make detailed observations of the world, taking notes and report. This was very different from the other Greek philosophers and educators of the day. They did all their work in their mind, thinking about the work but not observing it. In this way, Aristotle laid out the foundation of science today. Aristotle spent a lot of time on he was the first to try. He was the first to try in order to take animals in the different groups. During Alexander the Great, in 343 BC, Philip II of Macedonia asked Aristotle to tutor his son Alexander. Aristotle spent the next several years teaching Alexander a wide range of subjects, including philosophy, logic, and mathematics. Alexander went on to conquer much of the civilized world and became known as Alexander the Great. Aristotle's School. After tutoring Alexander, Aristotle returned to Athens and opened his own school. It was called, no, not Holy Cross Boys, but the Peripatetic School. Taken from the Greek words, can you think why the word is associated with walk, with walking? Yeah, that's right. If you remember, he walked while teaching his students. At the school, he taught his students subjects such as logic, physics, public speaking, politics, and philosophy. At this point in his career, Aristotle began to study logic and this process of thinking. Here are some of Aristotle's most famous ideas. Five elements. At the time of Aristotle, people believed that everything was made of four elements, earth, water, air and fire. Aristotle proposed that there was a fifth element called ether. He thought that ether is what heavenly bodies such as the stars or planets are made of. Four causes. Aristotle felt that everything that happened could be explained by one of four causes. Material causes, formal causes, efficient causes, and final cause. Aristotle rightly determined that the earth was round. However, he also thought that the earth was stationary at the center of the universe. The meaning. He believed the best way for pe people to behave was to avoid any extremes. Today we call this doing everything in moderation. Interesting facts about Aristotle. The name Aristotle means the best purpose. King Philip, second of Muston, rebuilt Aristotle's hometown of Stagaria and freed the people who lived there from slavery as a reward for his tutoring Alexander. Not all of Aristotle's observations were accurate. He thought the heart was the centre of intelligence, not the brain. Plato referred to Aristotle as the main. Thanks for listening to Rooms 12 Assembly on Aristotle. I hope you learned lots of facts. Hi,
384 BC in Stadica, Greece. Why are you so famous and why do people still talk about you today? Well, I have made many important contributions to logic, criticism and politics. I have even contributed towards some of your topics. Like maths, literacy and philosophy. Before I send you back to the glorious year 2020, does anyone have one final question for me? Yes, I do. Have you ever heard of Father Tom, Plato, Cato? Yes, he was my teacher for around 20 years. Nice guy with some great ideas. Although I disagree with most of Plato's philosophies, but I'll not get into it too much. Why don't you ask Mr. Macaribi? He loves talking about philosophy, even thinks he's a philosopher. Good luck, P5, and remember what I told you, the roots, of, the roots to education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Yes, son. Job done. 
Artist Ala is still one of the most influential people who ever lived. He introduced many new fiends to this earth and had so much knowledge to give. Our song on each of his purpose, Plato refers to him as a mind, due to his vast intelligence, as we have already outlined. Philosophy is about viewpoints, where when we think, think, respond, introducing new ideas of which Aristotle was very fond. Aristotle's legacy lives on, studied all over today, and for the past 2,000 years or more, so it looks like it's here to stay. Aristotle worked his knowledge to stand the test of time, one of the world's greatest thinkers, as we told you in this way. Thank you for listening to our